Now we are going to look at multiplying and dividing negative numbers. And I'd like to start by showing you a pattern. So I'm going to answer each of these questions. So starting with three times three, three threes, three lots of three is nine. Three twos, which is six, three times two is six. Three times one is three. And you should start to see a pattern. Three times zero is zero. So what is the pattern? We're going down in three every time. So three times negative one, three lots of negative one, negative three, and three lots of negative two is negative six. Three lots of negative three is negative nine. And on to the next one. Negative three times three is the same as three times negative three. So that's negative nine. And negative three times two is negative six. Negative three times one is negative three. And you can see the pattern emerging. So we're going up in three every time. So we can have zero, three, six, nine. So what we have here is a negative times a negative, negative three times negative one is three. So a negative times a negative is a positive. And let's write down the rules of multiplying and dividing negative numbers. So a positive times a positive is positive. A positive times a negative gives us a negative answer. So positive times a negative gives us a negative answer. A negative times a positive gives a negative answer. So a negative times a positive gives us a negative answer. And a negative times a negative is a positive. So a negative times a negative is a positive. The rules for dividing are the same as the rules for timesing. So a positive divided by a positive is positive. A positive divided by a negative is negative. A negative divided by a positive is negative. And a negative divided by a negative is positive. Let's take a look at some questions. So I'm going to do these examples. So we have nine times three, a positive times a positive is positive, and nine times three is 27. For the second one, we've got a positive divided by a negative. A positive divided by a negative is negative, and 16 divided by four is four. For the third one, a negative times a negative is positive, and 11 times 7 is 77, so positive 77. The fourth one, we've got a positive divided by a negative, so that'd be a negative answer, and 24 divided by 3 is 8, so we've got negative 8. For the next one, we've got negative 5 squared. Squared means multiplied by itself. So this is negative 5 times negative 5. A negative times a negative is a positive, And 5 times 5 is 25. Now we have 
6 times negative 3 times negative 2. And we can do this in two steps. So 6 times negative 3. So a positive times a negative is negative. And 6 times 3 is 18. So we've got negative 18 times negative 2. And now we have a negative times a negative, which is going to be positive. And 18 times 2, two 18s, is 36. And the last one, we've got negative 4 cubed. So that means negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. So again, let's do this in two steps. So negative 4 times negative 4. A negative times a negative is a positive, and 4 times 4 is 16. So that would be 16 times negative 4. Now we've got a positive times a negative, which is negative, and 16 times 4. So we're going to double and double again. 16 times 2, 16 doubled is 32. 32 doubled is 64. Okay, some questions for you to try. So you can pause the video, have a go at these, and press play when you're ready for the answers. Question one, we've got a negative times a positive. So it's going to be negative. Seven fours are 28. Question two, a negative divided by a negative will be positive, And 10 divided by five is two. Three, we've got a negative divided by a positive, so that would be negative. And 36 divided by 4 is 9. A positive times a negative is negative, and 1 9 is 9. A negative times a negative is positive, and 8 times 6 is 48. Negative 7 squared means negative 7 times negative 7. A negative times a negative is a positive, and 7 times 7 is 49. And finally, we'll do it step by step. So negative 2, a negative times a negative is positive. 2 times 3 is 6. So it's going to be 6 times negative 4. A positive times a negative be negative. Six fours are 24. Okay, let's finish up with 10 more questions. So have a go at these ones and press play when you're ready for the answers. Question one, we've got a positive times a positive. So that's positive. 10 eights, that's 80. Question two, a negative times a positive is negative. Two nines are 18. Three, a positive divided by a negative is negative. 18 divided by six is three. Number four, we've got a positive times a negative. So negative, seven times four is 28. Question five, a negative times a negative is positive. One five is five. Question six, positive times negative is negative. 11 times two is 22. Question seven, we've got a negative divided by a positive. So we're gonna have a negative answer. 20 divided by five is four. Question eight, we've got negative three cubed. Negative three times negative three times negative three. So a negative times a negative is positive. Three threes are nine. So we've got nine times negative three. Positive times negative is negative. Nine times three is 27. Question nine, so again, step by step. We've got a negative times a positive, which is negative. 
two sixes are 12. So negative 12 times negative 4. And a negative times a negative is a positive. 12 times 4 is 48. And finally, we've got negative 2 to the power of 4. So negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So a negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times 2 is 4. So this is going to be 4, and this is going to be 4, so we're going to have 4 times 4, which is 16.